Hi folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. We all know that the world is a much more dangerous place in the last three years than it has ever been. Mothers and daughters, you need to be aware that you really should not go anywhere alone. And if for some reason you have to, you need to have a way to defend yourself. A wife who loses a husband is called a widow. A husband who loses a wife is called a widower. A child who loses a parent is called an orphan. There is no word for a parent who loses a child. It is something that they will never get over. We have enough crime here in the United States without having open borders, without criminals coming across, with no regard for life or for women or American values. Recently, Biden was asked about the year that his son died and he couldn't remember. Well, we know that his mental facilities is, um, yeah, failing. Biden has blood on his hands, in my opinion. Lakin Riley was murdered in Georgia. They say it was a murder of opportunity. He didn't know his victim. Jose Antonio Ibarra, 26, was arrested on Friday in connection with the death of Riley, whose body was found in a lake on the University of Georgia's campus the day before. He was arrested in the same location, close to the same location, where that beautiful young lady's body was found. This here is the area where he was arrested, and this is where her body was found over here by this lake. It's close to um, the Islamic Center of Athens. It's also part of the campus. He is here in the United States illegally. He faces several charges, including malice murder, felony murder, aggravated battery, aggravated assault, false imprisonment, kidnapping, hindering a 911 call, and concealing the death of another. Ibrahim's older brother, Diego, who is 29, is also in state custody on charges of holding a fake green card. And supposedly he was previously arrested in Athens, Georgia, three times between September and December of last year. He allegedly entered the U.S. Viva El Paso, Texas, in September of 2022 and was released from a detention center due to overcrowding. I believe it was Thursday morning she went for a jog and never returned and her roommate then called police. After her body was found, investigators did reveal Friday evening that Riley died from blunt force trauma. Police say they were able to link Ibarra to the murder through the use of campus security camera network and several witnesses. His older brother, Diego Ibarra, um, evidently entered the U.S. in April of last year, 2023, near El Paso, Texas also. He was processed for expedited removal, but claimed a credible fear of returning to Venezuela and he was released with a pending claim for asylum. Like his younger brother, Diego Ibarra, has been arrested three times by Athens law enforcement, federal authorities said. He was arrested in September for driving under the influence of alcohol and driving without a license. He was arrested in October for shoplifting and arrested again in December for failure to appear for finger fingerprintable offense. Riley studied at the University of Georgia through the spring of 2023 before transferring to Augusta University College of Nursing, according to a statement from the University of Georgia. She evidently transferred from the University of Georgia to Augusta University because the University of Georgia did not have a nursing program. Riley graduated in 2020 from River Ridge High School in Woodstock, a suburb northwest of Athens where she ran cross country. So they get checks from the government. They get um, free housing or discount housing. They get medical. They get all kinds of things 
from the U.S. tax dollars given to them for free. He's also going to have an attorney appointed to him, paid for by our taxes. Both of them have been arrested at least three times. Why were they not deported? This catch and release has got to stop. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. My thoughts and prayers go out to this woman and her family and her sister. It's so heartbreaking. Uh, please give us your response. What do you think should be done? Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.